Okay, I'm down at uh, Divers Cove with uh, my daughter Emily and her friend Kaylee. Hi girls! Hey! <laughs> so, um, we went down and looked at the tide pools and we were discovering the uh, crystals in the uh, cliffs there. The divers are, there's a dive class going out, they're having a little bit of trouble. The waves have really picked up just in the last hour, in this last hour that we've been out here. A couple of divers were having some trouble. So I think we're going to go down, we were going to go snorkeling out here, but I think we're going to go try a different beach. A beach where the uh, approach to the water is less uh, dramatic and the waves will dissipate their energy further out. So girls, should we head up the beach to Huntington Beach? Let's do that. Okay, here we go. Uh, the girls and I are in, uh, whoa, look at that car. Cool. We're uh, walking down uh, Main Street in Huntington Beach. We came over here, stopped at Jack in the Box, aka Jack in the Crack, what I, I call it. My brother called it, ooh, look at that, the T bird over there. Wow. And uh, we're heading over, we, uh, walking down Main Street. We're going to do some uh, swimming in the, in the ocean down there. Just starting to heat up and get lots of people. Look at that car. Wow. A whole lot of people have been breakfast. So of course I can't uh, walk down this street without giving a uh, shout out to my uh, friend Eric Surfsick. Eric, look at that car. Emmy, look at that. Wow. So, uh, oh, look at that over there. Look at that car over there. Purple. I like that color. Isn't that amazing? Look at these uh, places. Of course, uh, Eric Berg, Eric Surf Six. This is his hometown. And actually, uh, my hometown, you know, Eric and I share a lot in common. It's my original hometown. When, my, when I was born, my parents lived just uh, down the few blocks down here. My very first home as a boy was here. I learned to surf here. Although that was later. Here we go. There are the bells. Does it say the time? Surf rack. Look at that car. Look at all the classic cars. Um, yeah. Oh, 31. Sati 1. Baskin Robbins. Do you have that in Korea? Yeah. Dong. One. Two. Three. Four, five. I should have shot this on the inside, on the outside camera. Six, seven, eight. It's eight o'clock. Oh, mermaid shirt. Yeah, you're my little mermaid. <laughs> so the girls and I are gonna hop in the water now and uh, enjoy it. Man, the summer is winding down, but it feels. It's a good. Feels good, huh? Yeah, it's good to love life. They were both just telling me their homework assignment uh, is to write, see? Huntington Surfing Walk of Fame. Kelea Kelleni, whatever, Woman of the Year. I'm sorry, Kelea Kennelly, Woman of the Year 2013. Oh, it's like uh, Hollywood Walk of Fame, but for surfers. Interesting. You know, because this is, uh, uh, like they say, Surf City USA. Anyway, they were telling me that they both uh, got their first homework assignment at their new school. They have the same class together. Um, Kaylee's from Korea, Emily's from, of course, Japan. And the assignment is to write a poem. And uh, I was excited because they both decided that the theme of their poem would be the ocean. And uh, I, I'm happy. That really makes me happy because uh, it, it, we've been spending a lot of time down here. And I imagine that they both enjoyed the ocean beforehand. But, you know, one of the things in coming here, bringing Emily back to the United States to Southern California, was I wanted to exposure to the beach lifestyle. They were both uh, sharing with me some of the words in their second language in English that for the ocean theme. And it was uh, things about, you know, the, the beauty the, of the ocean, the importance of the ocean, uh, the impact it has on, on the world, all kinds of nice things. And here we are. I always, Emmy, I always do this with the wrong camera. This is the outside camera. Oh, this is the store. I used, this is where I bought my second surfboard in this store. Look at all the 50% off all the Hawaiian shirts. I like Hawaiian shirts. 
Here we are. Eric, uh, Eric and I, back on Eric Berg, he and I made a video right over there together with Sandy when Eric was here last year, 2014, and he and I uh, got together. We came here because the waves are a little more, uh, it's a, well, it's not that they're gentler, but they, the beach is, more slo is less sloping, so the wave disperses its energy further out. Keep the camera on. Oh, and I'll switch it around when we get there. We'll show you from the front camera. See you in a minute. A second. Pier Plaza. They'll have the uh, sidewalk vendors up here tomorrow. They have a live live music venue just down there. Volleyball courts. Look at the nice waves. Some good surfing out there today. We'll go out and check it out. And we've got uh, the pier itself. We should have brought the good camera. I always forget to bring the good camera. And I think after we'll go take a walk, take the girls to the walk out to the end of the pier and back, and then I'll take them swimming right over there. Looks like they're getting ready for a uh, volleyball uh, contest. Over here. What song is that? Window. You're singing the same song at the same time in two languages? Is that right? Let me hear you. Can I hear no. it? No. That is really interesting. I've never heard anything like that. That's really... Oh, here comes a big old truck. <laughs> Don't fast track. Let's get out of the way. That's really interesting. Look at all the volleyball down there. Okay, now we're looking on the uh, south side of the pier. This is exactly where I'd surf. Amy, look at these guys. Oh, yeah. Girls are looking. That surfing, actually, it's rare for the surf to be better on the other side of the pier, but it is. Ah. Uh, I was going to say, look at this way, but no one's getting it. But this is where, what I used to surf here all the time, at night. And used to surf right underneath the pier. There we go. Go, go, go. No, he's too... <laughs> oh, here it comes. See, there's a couple of big waves coming. See? Oh, this guy might be unlucky right here. This guy might be okay. Come back there. Oh, yeah, that's good. M maybe, no, 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 no. Too bad. Lots of memories here. Come here, park my car over there about uh, 11 p.m. Oh, right on. I missed it. And then my friend Lauren and I, it's my brother, would come over here, my stepbrother Lauren, come over here and surf and surf right under the pier, right under our feet there. And out there's the end. We're going to walk out. I'm making the girls walk out to the end. Emily doesn't want to, but I'm going to make her do it. And then we're going to look on the other side. And then we'll get in the water. Over that away. Although Emily says she wants to swim under the, you want to swim under the pier? Oh, okay. Maybe we can do that. Okay. There's a lot of, a lot of guys on the north side of the pier today. It's very rare that I used to surf on this side. The guy on the longboard almost got it. I heard a guy yell outside just a moment ago, which means a big wave's coming in from outside. That's a crowd. That's the one thing I never liked about surfing at uh, Huntington was the crowds. I'm sure Eric would agree. Oh, here comes a good one. There's a good one. No, too small. Oh, there you go. Is that a girl? That's a girl. Over there. Yeah. Let's wait for a big set to come. We're down on the sand now, and uh, the girls and I are having a nice time. We're talking about all kinds of things. 
we just learned a new word. We saw a sign over there that said beach curfew, 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. And so uh, we gave them a little quiz what those words meant, and they figured it out. Good job, girls. And Kaylee mentioned that the, when was the pool curfew? 10. 10? 10? Yeah. 10 a.m. to 5 a.m. That's right. So we have a curfew. Look at that guy. Oh, he's fast surfer. And we were looking at we were looking at the seagulls here. For their footprints, seagull prints. <laughs> and we're gonna get in, we're gonna get in the water right here, and then we're gonna the girls wanna go under the pier, and we're gonna do that. First we gotta find a place to put our uh, our stuff. How about over here on this mound? Ah, very nice. Oh maybe right over here. We have to watch out the tide's coming up. We don't want to get our stuff washed away. Wow, very, very classic uh, Huntington Beach. Oh my gosh, I gotta get a photo with him for this. Come here, girls. Kaylee and Emily are making a sandcastle right on the uh, north side of the pier here. It's really just a spectacular day. The water feels terrific. Emily found this spot right here where there's uh, no longshore current, which is really, really nice. So we're just going to hang out here and enjoy the waves and the sand and the day. Big, big sets coming through. Lots of good surfing. And Emily is insisting on making the sandcastle right there. See how long it'll last, even though the tide's on its way up. <laughs> okay, time for some more fun. I think I'll help him with the sandcastle. Just perfect. Classic uh, uh, Huntington Beach. Waves, you know, these are rolling, woo, ah, <laughs> rolling, splashing. There's the girls back there. Waves, we've been having so much fun today. But it's time to go home. All good things, you know, you know, they, they, they can go on until they stop. So we're going to go on until we stop now. Actually, the girls need to get back and uh, do their uh, homework, their poetry assignments. After which point, I'm going to take them to the pool for more water fun and diving practice. I got to get them trained on how to use the diving and uh, get them more and more comfortable with these waves, which are a heck of a lot of fun. There they are. Whoa, here, they, here comes a big one. Ah, oh, my camera's all wet. Oh my gosh. Okay, bye, Emmy. Let's ready to head back. Okay, see you later. Bye bye. We're walking through a volleyball area here. Isn't this nice? People uh, playing volleyball all over the place. The Oh, it looks like fun. Oh, they're good. Go, 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 go. She's good. He's good. He's good. He's good, too. Yeah. There go the girls. Here comes the surfer. Nice. Oh, just the beach lifestyle. Nothing quite like it. And, of course, Gotta wash the feet, put these off. Oh, the surfboard. Outstanding. All on the boardwalk here. Lots of interesting characters. Excuse me. Girls, this way. This way. Here's the uh, Zach's Huntington Beach Food Shack. This has been here forever. What, what, what? What, what, what? Oh, okay, you want to get some? Okay, let's get some. Let's see. They want some dipping dots. And uh, let's see, where is it? Is it here? Okay. Let's check. Okay, okay let's order some. Call, this is thanks to you guys, because I'm paying for this with YouTube money. <laughs> yeah, YouTube. You don't have to say that to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> but thank you for the... You guys just say thank you. Say thank you for the dipping dots. <laughs> That's great. Okay, bye-bye. We're learning about uh, Japanese K-pop. This is actually K-pop being sung in Japanese, right? The Korean group singing their Korean song in Japanese and Korean, right? It's just a Korean-Japanese festival. Okay, well, we gotta drive, bye. <laughs>